Welcome to the Wangratta Government Centre. This film has been created to invite all staff from the rural city of Wangratta, Parks Victoria, Never Waste, Department of Primary Industries, Department of Sustainability and Environment, Department of Planning and Community Development, Consumer Affairs Victoria, Sustainability Victoria and Vic Roads to understand the environmental practices of this building and what is required of all staff who work within this building. If you are a new staff member watching this film and you do not work within the Wayne Grader Government Centre, these principles can still apply to you. To assist staff and management run the second greenest building in Wayne Grader, just behind the EPA office in Faithful Street, a sustainability management plan has been developed for this building. Copies of this plan are available through your eco-leader in each organisation, in each council unit and electronically on council's intranet, my page. As a staff member, you are required to be familiar with this plan and the actions you need to implement. The following is an overview of the sustainability management plan and the environmental practices of this building. Council is a signed member of EcoBuy, a Victorian program that requires organisational commitment to the purchasing of products with a green ethic. This includes products that are reuse, recycle content or they reduce our ecological footprint. For example, using chip material from the arbicultural team as mulch on our parks and gardens is reuse. Purchasing products with a recycle content can include brochures, business cards, information signs, guideposts, culverts and seats. Products that reduce our ecological footprint include solar panels, green power, worm farms or water tanks. To assist staff with selecting green products, the EcoBuy website, www.ecobuy.com.au, is available as a web link on Council's intranet. This website allows you to search for green products, learn about latest research and technology, and you can find out what other Victorian organisations and councils are doing. As outlined in the Sustainability Management Plan, staff need to find out the price of the green product. If the green product is within 10% of the non-green product, the green product is to be purchased. In many cases, the green product can be cheaper. So when seeking quotes, remember to request the price of the green product, and if you need assistance, please ask your eco-leader. To assist track our green purchases, Council has an electronic ordering system where you have to fill in if your product is recycled, reused, greenhouse friendly or other. It is important that you fill this field in correctly as we use these results for our annual audit that is submitted to EcoBuy. So when purchasing products, please remember EcoBuy, EcoBuy, EcoBuy. The EcoBuy program focuses on products coming into the building and the WasteWise program focuses on the products that leave the building, our waste. Managing waste is an expensive business. The process of emptying the bins, taking the bins to the road, having our waste collected and trucked out to the landfill at Bowser and then managing the landfill to legal standards all costs money. Each sale at Bowser costs over $400,000 to construct and Wangrata is currently generating rubbish at the alarming rate where each landfill cell is being filled in less than 24 months. The WasteWise program sets reduction targets and we have an action plan that all staff are to be actively implementing. Each of our five waste streams paper, recyclables, confidential, organic and waste are audited every 12 months to see if we are reaching our targets. So how do you use our well-signed bin system? All paper and cardboard, including disposable cardboard coffee cups, go into the bins under your desk or into the yellow littered bins. Our other recyclables, including plastics numbered 1 to 7, cans and glass, go in the red bins. The sorting of recyclables is done by hand, so we have separated them out into different streams to assist Wayne Grader Recyclables with their task. We also appreciate that you leave the lids off containers and that you wash out smelly containers like disposable coffee cups, milk containers and tuna tins. In each kitchen is a small green organics bin lined with a biodegradable cornstarch bag. A highlight of our WasteWise program is our worm farm located on our roof. This is an industrial worm farm run on solar panel and can take any sort of organic waste, especially tea bags, coffee grinds, onion, meat, citrus and cheese. 90 litres of organic waste is added to the worm farm each week and over 80,000 worms work 24-7 to digest your leftovers. 
They turn your organic waste into castings, which our Parks and Gardens staff use every two months. The worm liquid is affectionately known as Weasling and is bottled at the end of each month. This is available free to all staff using recycled plastic containers in the Weasling Room, which is located between DPCD and Council's Development Services Counter on Floor 1. Remember, Weasling is for plant consumption, not your liquor cupboard. The confidential bins are just that. They are for confidential papers that need to be shredded. These bins cost more to empty, so please only put confidential material into them. The last of our waste streams are the bins that are grey and black, and these are the ones we hope you rarely use. This is the waste bin that goes to landfill, and whatever you put in here is buried. The Wangratta Government Centre generates large volumes of greenhouse gases through the use of electronic equipment, air conditioning and travel. Council is a member of the North East Greenhouse Alliance and the Cities of Client Protection CCP, programs. As a member we are committed to a 15% reduction of our energy use. To achieve this, all staff within the building need to take responsibility of their own actions. When you turn off your computer, remember to turn off your monitor as well. Does the printer and photocopier you use have an internal timer that switches them off each night? If not, who is responsible for turning them off? It could be you. Standby mode still uses up to 8% energy, and if you multiply this by 200 computers, monitors and 30 photocopiers and printers throughout the building, it soon adds up to a waste of money and volumes of greenhouse gases being generated every night when nobody's even in the building. Staff are encouraged to dress appropriately as individual heaters and fans are not allowed. Turning off lights is also important, though you still need a level of light to move around safely. Council's building staff are gradually delamping lights and changing over to motion sensors and rewiring light switches to match work areas. A good example of this is the infrastructure area, where CBUS lighting allows only the work area in use to be lit up, not the whole floor. And there's even a cleaners mode where every fourth light is on. In 2008, the Wangratta Government Centre started using 10% certified green power. This is a good first step towards the Sustainability Management Plan commitment of 20% green power, which will bring us in line with state government targets.